Ouch, bonk hit me in the head. Did it hit you hard? And Bitcoin ETF is approved. What will it mean when I hear that? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, wherever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, five five, staying alive here in Dubai. Uh, we're going to be talking about, um, you know, the Bitcoin ETF and bonk. What's going on with that? Is it going to go bonkers? And also we're going to be doing some trading in the uh, as well at the end of the show. So if you're interested in that, you can just head over to bybit.davincij15.com, okx.davincij15.com, or 2bit.davincij15.com. Links are in the description below. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button and all, and let's get to it. I'm going to be uh, working on, you know, getting the, the Davitar rewards out for you guys. So be patient with that. I will be updating the roadmap shortly. Okay. Um, first news of the day, spot Bitcoin ETF poised to tap 30 trillion market says Grayscale CEO. Yes. We're going to see approval and much money coming in all 30 trillion. <laughs> <laughs> Grayscale Investments expects the approval of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds ETF by the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission to allow 30 trillion advised wealth market to gain exposure to Bitcoin. You see how they uh, you see how they play. Most people have a low average intelligence. But look at that 30 trillion and say, "All that's coming in, I better buy." <laughs> Yeah, well, first off, not all of them are going to be buying with their 30 trillion. They're not going to all jump in at once. They will be using a little bit of tech tactics in order to get in and so that they, they're not raising the price. I do think there's a lot of optimism in the market, right? And, and yeah, there is too much so. So don't be surprised when that optimism might get dashed. Okay, micro strategies. CEO Michael Saylor predicts a major bull run for Bitcoin in 2024. Right? Saylor, known for his bullish stance on Bitcoin, believes that the approval of these ETFs could be a significant catalyst for Bitcoin growth, arguing that it would be one of the biggest developments on Wall Street in three decades. Oh, well, I don't know if it's the biggest development on Wall Street because I really believe that ETF will probably start off with, um, you know what, I haven't told you this, but I bet you any money somehow they're going to steal Michael Saylor's Bitcoin and move it into the ETF. He's got the biggest holdings. And you don't want the price to go up over too high. So yeah, um, somehow they're going to get it from him and uh, fund the ETF. Let's see what they do, how they pull that off. It'd be interesting. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. The reason why I say that is because, well, that's what happened to Warren Buffett when he bought a whole bunch of silver. He just said, oh yeah, I sold it too early. And that exact sale equaled the amount that went into the ETF, or silver ETF. Right. <laughs> All right, going, moving on to Bonk. Bonk goes bust. Solana's meme coin plunges 44% after set, uh, setting all-time highs. What went... Up at least last week has crashed down, but Solana's bonk is still up 500% this month despite losses. All right, let's take a look at the, the crypto bubbles. You can see bonk. Yeah, it's got, it got bonked heavy, heavily. Well, you got to expect, right? You can't, you can't be buying highs, right? Hopefully you didn't buy up here. It didn't bonk me. I didn't buy any bonk. I don't have any bonk. But the people who, who bought those cell phones, right? Those Solana cell phones to get some bonk. Oof, they might not be profiting anymore. Um, because I remember it was like $500 for a phone and $700 worth of bonk was located inside the phone. So yeah, those phones went absolutely nuts. All right, let's take a look at the the charts for Bitcoin today. Um, wow, Bitcoin it really is, got me out of my, my short. And now, you know, it, it's... Um, Plunge back down and it's bouncing back off off of its the the, the EMA ribbon ribbons and the, the thirteen EMA on uh, the four hour. Uh, we could see uh, Bitcoin uh, roll over here. Probably going to retest this this um, this resistance here, right? Uh, you can see 
it, it's also, uh, if we open up the uh, VPVR, you can see that there is a clear area where it just can't seem to break through, uh, where there's a little bit of a gap in, and then if above value here, this is, this is above, this is above value. This is below value on the, uh, the, uh, vo the volume profile. So yeah, if we break, it's clear that if we break the $43,600 level, that would be the break to a new high. We're going to probably go all the way to at least 45 and maybe even uh, higher as a 48. So that is the target uh, area that we, if we break, we're going higher. And if we break the lower area, right, this is it. We're all set here. If we break again, right about here, I think of this right here where, yeah, there it is. If we break the four forty. 1,500 or 40,550 break down the, 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 the line battle lines are set. Let's head over to, uh, Ethereum. See if uh, we can get some sort of indication. Let's go down to the four hour and see if there's an indication because big Ethereum loves to tell us what, what really, what time it is, what, what, what time it really is for price action. For Bitcoin, basically. So whatever Ethereum is going to do, clearly, uh, if the charts are clearly marking it out, that's probably what it wants to do, what Bitcoin wants to do as well. So highly, highly probable. So what, what we can see is a clear situation of like, ooh, yeah, I'm not going to make it here. Not going to make it. We have, we break the, the, um, we, we have a clear break of maybe, maybe a little bit lower than that. Let's just create a line here, clear break of around the 2140 ish area. Uh, that's lights out basically and lights out. We're probably going to only go down to $2,000 mark for Ethereum, but it's clearly stating, Hey, lights out. Now, how do we know that, that it will absolutely refuse to break out, refuse to um, roll over and die. Well, if we go above the 2334 area, that's an indication that we're going a lot higher. So how high can we can go? We'd have to target just above the 2500 or, or 2500 at the 2600, which is not a surprise. I mean, we do see a target up there, uh, the 20, 2500. Um, we might get up there and install and then quickly come back and pump to the uh, 26, 20 ish or a little bit higher. So that looks like the target if we break higher. All right. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, I do this live uh, on my uh, private group of, of, uh, of viewers. If you want to do that, you can head over to davincij15.com and subscribe and you can actually participate. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.